wanted to take a look at some of the applications that you can use to get sketchnoting on the iPad. So if you're new to sketchnoting and want to get started, I've got some other videos about like how to get started and ways you can do this. So just this is really just about the applications that you can use and why you might use one application over another and what they potentially could look like. So I'm going to start off in Keynote. Keynote is a great tool for doing sketchnoting, although when you learn how to do things in Keynote, you've learned how to do things in other applications as well, like numbers and pages, because the setup is very similar across all of those applications. So these are just um, a couple of sketch notes that I've done in Keynote. And the reason why I've used Keynote for this is just the speed maybe of getting to some of the tools if you want to do certain things, like very, very quickly being able to fill shapes or draw shapes with the fill tool. So I'm gonna jump into uh, a new slide here and just choose a blank page. And when I tap on the screen with my Apple Pencil, you'll see that I get these tools along the bottom of the screen. And this tool here, this is the, the Paint Tube um, Fill tool. And this really can be quite a lifesaver for you for a couple of reasons. First of all, if I was to draw um, a very quick uh, rough shape of a car and put a little bit of detail into it, what I can simply do is tap on that paint tool, tap on a color, and it will fill the car in for me. Okay, so again, if you're doing sketch noting in a in a quick way and you just really want to very quickly, uh, you know, create those pictures, and again, it's not about the art; it's about identifying with something. I know it's a car because I drew it. It's, it's my interpretation of the car. Okay, so that's that's really all that matters. Using that fill tool just speeds up the process for lots of things. Um, again, for example, I, I tend to draw when I'm doing um, you know, pictures of, of talks that people are give, they talk about the impact on the world. So you can see you can very, very quickly draw. Again, I'm not saying that this is geographically correct, but you'll get the idea that this is um, the Earth. Oops, make sure I fill in the rest of that. So you, it's really, really quick way of drawing just using that fill tool um, as an outline. Okay, so again, you can either fill the shape in or you can draw entirely using the fill tool and it will automatically fill for you. So that's a reason why Keynote is, is a really, really useful tool for this. I'm also now gonna jump and have a look at uh, another of the iWork apps and that is Numbers. For the same reason, um, you get the same tools. So again, this is um, a sketch note that I've done uh, recently on some presentations I was listening to. The difference here, although I get the same pencil tools across the bottom, allow me to do the same uh, input. The difference here though is because I have the tabs across the top in that uh, way that numbers works uh, with the, the tabs from, from the spreadsheet, but I've just deleted everything out of the page that was there, so it's just a blank template. I now can collate all of my sketches all together just by tapping across the top. I can jump between different sessions that I might have attended. So again, depending on why you're using the sketch notes, where you're using the sketch notes, it, it can offer you some different approaches. However, the, the approach is exactly the same. So I've got a box up here that says Game of Thrones. Do you know what? I might want to color that in red. I can just tap on that. Uh, with the colour and it's going to fill that in for me. Um, where I've missed elements out, if I just draw around the whole thing, it will fill in that background. So again, it's it's a really, really quick and easy way uh, to, to just add those images in, to be able to colour those images in. If you're not worried too much about the art of this, it's just about getting your information down on the paper or the iPad. Um, it's It's just a really quick and easy way of doing those things. So that's that's Keynote as one way of doing things, Numbers is a different way of doing things, but all the time remembering that that um, pencil case along the bottom that pops up, your markup tools, just they're there and if you're used to using it in one app, it transfers really, really easy into another app. So that's uh, that's those apps just to look at. Now, I did some, some sessions over the summer and, and a, a friend of mine, ADE, Chris Galley, showed me Procreate for doing sketch noting, and, and that's something where you can kind of take things to a different level. Um, my drawings aren't any better because I've done them in Procreate, that's not the, the process here. But what Chris showed me was that if I wanted to refine my notes afterwards, go back in and just tidy them up, uh, maybe reflect on them a little bit more, could I have made that look a little bit clearer? Um, you know, maybe my handwriting wasn't very neat the first time I did it, or the drawings were a little bit off, and go back in to correct it. 
What Procreate offers you, whether the other apps don't, is the fact that we can use layers for this. So here's all the layers of this, uh, this uh, note that I've made. And where that's nice is I can go back in and I can edit different elements without having to change the whole picture. So if I was to um, you know, want to edit just layer seven, which is the test tube rack, I could go back in and I can just simply edit that layer. So I might think no, that brown color probably isn't the right color. Here I've got the color wheel, and there's there's great tutorials by the way on on using Procreate. I'm not an expert in this. I just it's a tool I like to use. Um, I can just take that color and I can drag that onto that part of the picture, and it's not going to affect anything else. So just to prove that, if I go to the rubber and try to rub out the kettle, it doesn't rub anything out. If I go near the test tubes, it does. Okay, so again depending on your usage for doing this from a note-taking point of view, um, it can be uh, easier to do it in Procreate. It might be more complex to do it in Procreate. Um, but again, choice is a very, very powerful thing. And the last one I wanted to show, uh, again, as part of this kind of pencil case of choices you've got, is this one called Sketches School. It's the, the blue pen on the white background. And in this one, um, it, there's it's kind of a cross between the simplicity of the iWork applications to be able to just jump straight in, but the more complex tools that are available in Procreate. So here you can see down the left-hand side, there's a range of brushes I can choose from. Just a few more that you get with iWork, but they might be things that you want to use. But other than that, the, the process is exactly the same. I've just done a, a very, very basic sketch note here on you know, different types of, of animals that you could draw, different people. It's just like a, a sketch note library of practicing how I might draw different things. Down on the right-hand side, you've got all of your colors. Over on the left-hand side, you have your tools. So again, just play around with these different brushes will give you a different um, effect. So if I turn some color on, you'll be able to see. So different brushes will give you different effects on the page. So again, just it's it's the same process sketch noting is still the same process but it's a really really nice app in order to to get you started with some of those things that you might want to do now the very last one i want to show you is something which for me uh, i've used for sketch noting before but it felt a little bit uh, too simplistic for some of the the sketch notes that i was doing but actually now with a recent update update in ipad os 14 lends itself quite nicely to sketch noting if you're doing things very, very quickly. And that is the Notes app. Um, always a great tool anyway for doing things. But now from a sketch noting point of view, what's really nice here is because when I want to draw shapes, it has that shape recognition. So it'll allow me to very, very quickly put a placeholder in for anything that I might want to do. Now in Keynote, I do the same thing, but I, I kind of draw them freehand or I'll have to create a template in advance. What's quite nice here is that I can kind of set out oops, set out my um, template in advance and I can kind of give myself a place where I might want to put, you know, maybe the title goes in here, um, you know, the speaker name goes in here and maybe a little picture of them, key points. And I can start to prep this in advance. And then as I'm going through the session, I still have those tools that you're familiar with that we just showed you in Keynote. And I have my color palette um, and I can start to, you know, I'm going to draw a car again because it's on my mind. So I can quickly just draw those things in, you know, and it might be that I'm talking about going on a journey or whatever it might be. And But the tools are there. But this time, what, what I really like about notes is the fact that I just have these placeholders. And yes, I could very easily just draw a rough square, but there's something nice about having it constrained in those nice shapes um, and the other thing with keep, with notes is it's kind of an infinite page so you just keep kind of flowing down and down and down so again lots and lots of different ways to do this lots of different ways to do this that aren't going to cost you any money to download specialist apps but also opportunities to take your sketch noting further like i explained with with chris's example using procreate where you can really refine your sketch notes not necessarily just focusing on doing them in the moment, but going back to them after time and, and actually creating something which does look a little bit more artistic really is a, is a great way to, to recall that information that you've, that you've looked at um, during a session um, and make something very, very nice and graphic and visual to help you recall that information further down the line. So there we go, a few different ways to use sketchnoting on the iPad, hope that's of use. If it is, I'd love to, uh, to leave some comments in the, in the comment section below. Tell me how you're using it uh, or ask any questions about how you could uh, develop your sketchnoting going forward.